Today we are going to be working on making the mini tubs for the 53 F100. So a little background on the truck. Um, I've already put the Crown Vic front end in. <clears throat> uh, haven't decided on steering yet. I think I'm gonna go with the S550 electric rack and the conversion setup for that. Uh, if I do go that route, I'll definitely do a video on that. Um, leaving the cab and the bed and the front end the way they are, kind of ratty looking. Uh, I use the Outcast Auto Works four link kit and pan hard bar setup, uh, Viking coilovers and a late 90s Explorer rear axle, 8.8. Eight. Got everything kind of mocked up. Uh, once I do tear it down, I'll be rebuilding the axle. I'm gonna have it blasted and then I'll, I'll paint it up. Uh, so 64 to 68 Mustang gas tank from Tank Sink. From Tank Sink, it's for the EFI setup because I am doing a Coyote swap in this truck. It's not mounted yet. I just kind of have it sitting there. I am raising the bed floor three inches to clear the upper shock mounts. So I'll probably end up sitting the tank on the top of the frame rails rather than below. I just need to make sure that I'll still be able to easily remove the tank without having to take the bed off and access everything. I am probably going to do some type of hatch or door in the bed floor so if I ever have to mess with the fuel pump or, or the sending unit or anything like that that I don't have to take the bed off to do it. It's some 20 by 8.5 and, and 20 by 10 inch wheels on it. Uh, just picked these up the day before yesterday. Um, I am running 1 inch wheel spacers in the back to get it a little closer to the track width of the front. Um, and I think that's gonna put me right out to the fenders in the back. So anyways, today I'm working on the mini tub. I need, need about two and a half inches on the inside of the bed to clear the tire. Um, if you go from, <clears throat> from bed wall to bed wall, I got about 49 and a half inches. And I need a little bit more than that. Uh, you can see these bars here basically equal where the bed wall is. So I'm gonna cut them back. I'm gonna come in a little bit. Now I saw a few sites sell the inner fenders. They're, they're pretty expensive, almost 400 bucks for a pair. So yesterday I went to my local uh, trailer supply place and I bought a pair of these fenders. They were like 40 bucks a piece. I'm just gonna do a little work to them. So they're nine inches wide to start. So I'm gonna section five inches out of them um, using a plasma cutter from Harbor Freight. I've had this thing, well, here, since the end of 2018, it has worked great. It's cut a lot of metal, mostly smaller stuff, mostly sheet metal, but I have done up to quarter inch thick in it for, I think it was 700 bucks, whatever it cost with the stand and everything, it's well worth it. So anyways, I got the yardstick here clamped down because this makes a great guide for when you're making a cut to make a nice straight cut. So I have my line marked on here and then I just have that set so that I can just run that right, right across when I'm cutting. So that makes it nice and easy for that. Now the other thing that I had to cut or will be cutting is three inches off of the bottom of each one. That's gonna give me 12 inches of height, which is exactly what I need. It's gonna bring it just below where the bolts for the factory outer fenders are. Now I want this nice rounded transition on the inside of the bed. So I'll be cutting, I'll be cutting these welds off of that backer plate too, once I get it sectioned. And I'm gonna bring the backer plate out to this surface and weld it in. That way it's got a nice smooth, smooth radius on there on the inside of the bed. And then that'll leave me this lip here to be able to put some holes in it and bolt it to the, to the bed wall. So I'm gonna bring this thing outside so I'm not making a big mess in the garage and we'll start cutting. I've got this set up in the backyard just to, to keep the mess out of the garage. You can see I typically cut back here. It's kind of killing my grass. But what I did here is I just got this nice little metal step stool. I clamped everything so it'll kind of stay in place once I cut it off. But I'll go ahead and start cutting. Uh, I got most of it cut. Uh, the yardstick doesn't go the whole way around. So now I just need to relocate it. it kind of ran out. But see, it makes a pretty nice cut. Not perfect, but again, for, for a Harbor Freight tool that's a few years old and then puts a heavy use, I'm impressed with it. All right, I got the first section cut off. Good to go there. Got the second section clamped up. 
and ready to make a cut. Okay, so I have them all cut up and screwed together, uh, mocked up. I ended up with three inch flare. You can see I cut the, cut the lip off and then I just overlapped the fender over the lip and then I'll just weld it from the back side edge and grind it smooth. And then I trimmed the back plate off of this side and moved it to this side. Now I'll run a bead the whole way around there and then I'll just grind it smooth so it kind of looks like one piece. And then with the flange on the inside, I'll bolt it. I'll bolt it to the bedside so then I can trim in here and cut my bedside out. And I am raising the floor three inches. So I might, I might either move these tubs up a little bit. I can't go, it's hard to see, but I don't want to go any higher than, I want the lips to be even from this one to the other one. Um, yeah, I don't want the inside fender to be sitting higher higher or lower than the outside. So I may have to trim a little more off the bottom. Well, I will either that or just have the floor come up, come up and over it, uh, across that bridge when I come to it. The main reason though that I wanted to get these mocked up now is so that I could cut the, cut the walls out of the bed sides and be able to fit the bed on. So a hundred bucks between the, the two fenders with tax and everything. And just a couple hours of work, um, probably another probably another hour or so to, to weld and grind them up and then drill a couple holes and bolt them on. But there it is.